I think uh, the strength of the diaspora is uh, its diversity. Uh, it is uh, all over the world. Uh, to a large extent, the Syrian diaspora has a big constituency of professionals. So we have doctors, we have engineers, we have lawyers, we have IT technicians. And to a certain extent also, it is an affluent uh, diaspora uh, that, is, uh, that has done reasonably well, particularly in the West and in the Gulf. Uh, and the other thing about the diaspora is that uh, they are still connected to the homeland, to Syria. So it is a very big resource that should be tapped uh, for its potential for the rebuilding of Syria. This initiative is it's in very early days, it's in infancy. It is only a concept that has been floated. And the, uh, the early participants, they bought into the concept. Uh, we have debated, and hopefully we will agree, on a code of, uh, of uh, conduct for, or, or what we would expect people to uh, live by who join this, uh, this uh, forum. Uh, who do we want to invite in the future? We want anybody who buys into this code about the Syria that we aspire to have. They are all invited. It's an open invitation for anyone who abides by this code to be part of this initiative. It should target everyone who wants to be part of this overall initiative. Uh, today with digital technology, it is easier to reach many people instead of having to do it physically. Uh, I think the first thing is we have to uh, finalize the the uh, the governance framework around this initiative and then deploy it through the digital media to be very effective